Hail Reckoners and welcome back. Today's indie game is Disorientation on the Orient Express. A clear satire of Murder on the Orient Express with my big friend Hercule Poirot. Uh, so I think this is going to be first person detective simulator? I don't know. Let's go. I said, okay, there you go. Fade to black. Excellent. I'm already disoriented. Good job, game. I used to be somebody. I used to solve problems. I used to solve people. But then I turned to drink. 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 Until that fateful day aboard the Murder Express. Ah, disorientation with the Murder Express. I am sorry. That, I believe, is the name of the game. Here we are. Can I drink coffee? Okay, I may have been drinking that day too. Yeah, well. Press E to drink. Huzzah! Never before has a button of such import been bestowed upon me. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like the. F Is it a fireplace? Disorient on the Murder Express! I didn't drink! Interesting, they gave me the option to drink. Uh, was it a fireplace though? Do trains have fireplaces on them? Not counting the coal box, obviously. Scene 1. 15 years to the day. But that, as soon as it's a fireplace, it's just trees going back and forth. Left click to politely interact with- Whoa! You are very well built. I like your facial hair, so the cut of your jib is great. Uh, a little static, but I guess I'll politely interact with you. Barman. Fifteen years to the day, that's how long I've been doing this job. I don't know what I'd do without it. I'm good at it, too. I've got drinks that'll make you feel good, bad, happy, sad. I even have drinks that'll make you sleep forever. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm joking. I'm funny like that. If you want any special concoction mixed, I'm your guy. Uh... Let's click on two bottles to mix drinks. Okay, well... This is like a friggin' Bugs Bunny cartoon. I'm going to request... But I just drink. Okay, I'm well lubricated, sir. Good day. Is that... Cup clean? You got that... Is your hand just stuck in a jar? Well, fine. We'll mix... Red. And blue. Excellent choice, sir. It is. A fine choice indeed. Oh, it's so pretty! Did you speak a hand gesture at me? I'm just seeing things, aren't I? Okay, we'll drink your... Okay, scene two! The letter of the law. The law? Hey, oh! What's over there? Yeah, it's quite, quite a good view. Good thing looking over there. Look at that pose! Look at that Jojo pose! Enjoy these trains while they last, pal. They won't be around much longer. Unsafe, you see. There's laws against that these days, and I'm the lawyer. That's taken on the case. Unfortunately, circumstances dictate that I must travel abroad this... aboard this monstrosity in order to deliver some very stealable legal bonds to a very wealthy client. The irony will be the death of me, for sure. Yes, uh... You, uh... Look at his lower lip. Scene three for that kind of treasure. And bam! Hey, hey! I like your top hat. Look at the definition of your calf muscles. Am I? What do I look like? Oh, I've got some pretty good forearm. One good forearm for all that that drink and workout. Anyway, what say you, con man? Since you're my new favorite drinking pal, let me share a little secret with you. I'm a professional con man. Professional spelled wrong. I would take you for everything you own, but you haven't a single thing I want, or anything for that matter. Besides, there's a much better mark on this train with a briefcase full of legal loot. I'd stab a man in the back for that kind of treasure. How do you know that? How do you know it's worth anything? And why are you telling me? That's very circumspect. Anyway, just turn away. Turn and drink. Scene four. Commonality is key. Oh, hello. Lady with pearls. Oh, another commoner aboard. I thought my father paid first class so I wouldn't have to associate with your kind. Allow me to cordially request that you stay as far away from me as possible and keep your hands to yourself. This goes for the bespectacled man too. A briefcase can't hide that he grew up on little more than two acres of land. I can smell the relative poverty all over him. Throw it in her face. Just throw it in her face. 
Act 2. I wonder if the game changes based on how much I've been drinking. Still at the bar, the following noises are heard from the adjacent cabins. 1. A rabid yell. A rebel yell. <laughs> 2. A high-pitched scream. 3. A pause. You hear a pause. Impressive. 4. Another rabid yell. 5. A panicked grunt and shuffling. So let's, uh, let me see if I get this straight. We heard this. <gasps> about right right that's a pretty perfect recreation was to move indeed i shall do this oh my gosh he drank the purple you liquefied yourself and fed it to somebody truly this is a clue container of liquid label reads poison sign po poison poison icing May cause irritable skin, slight bloating, erratic and in and incredibly violent behavior, elbow discomfort, and irreversible sudden death. Do not ingest. In fact, don't do anything with it. It's incredibly dangerous. We have no idea why it's sold as a packaged product. Store in a cool, dry environment. That is, uh... Excuse me, sir. What do you know about this? That couldn't have been me. I was right here with you when it happened. No, you weren't. Doing this job that I love so much. Did I ever mention to you how much I love my job? Fifteen years to the day. That's how long I've been doing this. Yes. I love the long con is what they call that, sir. This is a fireplace. I approached the fireplace, but there were still clues to find later. Is this the tree effect? That's actually really cool. I like that. It works as a fireplace effect. That's... But, it, you know, it reuses assets. I, it's really smart. But I'm still conf I I haven't been on many trains in my life, but I've never seen one with a fireplace. I should get on fancier trains. Oh, you're the dead man, are you? What were you eating? You were drinking purple, were you? There are three plates upon the table. Two cutlery sets are incomplete. On the plate with a both knife and fork, there is the resident residue of a strange liquid. So we're missing a knife and a fork. And you have two things inside of you. The lawyer lies on dead on the floor. There is a fork in his eye socket. A knife is wedged in his spine. In his left hand is a broken pearl necklace. His briefcase lies open and empty. Well, who's to say they all didn't do it? You know, I have read Murder on the Orient Express. But that was like a decade ago, so I don't remember how it ends. Did they all do it in that too? I don't remember. What is this? I'm reading the note first before talking to you. On the table is a note. It reads, Dear beautiful woman, you are beautiful, and so are your expensive looking pearls. But I can offer you more than mere wealth. I can offer you adventure. Join me and my new friend for dinner tonight. I intend to rob him blind. He has something I want, and I want to share it with you. Love from some fake made-up name. Or maybe I did it. Dun dun dun! Was that my gris- was that a grisly murder I just overheard? How typically common! My absurd quantity of wealth would be on the man wearing the black hat. He's a common thief! He must have stolen my expensive looking pearls then murdered the man with the briefcase for some reason. Not that I know anything about what happened, of course. Of course. Hmm, your head's too big for your head. This, there is a stack of astonishingly valuable legal bonds on the table. They look very stealable. They look very stolen. Legal bonds. Legal bonds, legal bonds, legal bonds. That's what they look like, I can confirm. Discrimination! That's what this is! You're only questioning me because I'm a known criminal! It's unethical! Just because I'm a dashing thief, that doesn't make me a dashing murderer! Speaking of which, the pile of extraordinarily valuable legal bonds on the table are mine and are not in any way connected to the gruesome murder that happened just now. Yeah, your story checks out. I'll, I'll believe that. Whoa, this is my... okay. It seems I was too preoccupied with the hopefully free bar to visit my room. Yeah, I better be free. Was I, though? Was I? There's some sort of clue in here. Okay, well, I'll allow it for now. Back to the free bar, I suppose. Hopefully. Why the extra utensils? That's bizarre. And why would he have liquid? Did they freeze it or something? Like, hmm, why is it on a plate? 
You, Berman. Okay, let's go to the fireplace. I think we already talked to the Berman. Left click on the fire to begin the accusing! Let the accusing begin! Or actually, can I talk to you more? What do you say now? Same thing. Okay. Yes, you love your job more than life itself, perhaps. Click on the fire. Click on the fire. Okay, I did it. Act 3. Is it called the accusing? It's been a long time. I slip back into character. I'm somebody again. I go over my stage directions. One, connect the clues. Left click, just like mixing drinks. Two, pace and point. Make a show of it. Three, when finished, left click on the fire. Final line, make it dramatic. Press F to begin. I have gathered you here this evening because, as you are all aware, there has been a homicide on this train. The isolated nature of this particular crime signifies that one or more person in this room is liable for this violent misdeed. Through the theatrical feat of connecting the clues, I intend to reveal the who, why, and how. Pace, 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 pace. Pace, 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 pace. We destroyed the crime scene. Okay, I'll point to you. It's legal bonds. And you. In the room of the characteristic con man, I found a pile of an incredibly valuable legal bonds. I don't for a moment believe that these invaluable legal bonds are property of con the con man. I instead assert that they were stolen by him. That. And that. I found a note in the room of Lady with No Pearls, formerly known as the Lady with Pearls. It was from a man using a fake made-up name, and it was addressed to a woman- It's still addressed wrong, I think. Maybe? Uh, of apparent beauty. The note extends an invitation to dinner with a third party and a life of adventure and thievery. This note, found within the lady's room, could not have been meant for anyone but the lady herself. Women are incredibly underrepresented on this locomotive, and the note even details her pearls and assumed wealth. Indeed. Here we go, point. Here we go, point. I found this container of poisons, poisonous... Poison icing, a poison most deadly. It's a lightish, pinkish, purplish substance known to cause erratic and violent behavior, followed by death. This poison ice sign was found open on the bar shortly after the murder. The very same bar that the barman is employed to maintain. This is a task he takes very seriously, as he told me himself far too many times during my short six hours of drinking. And a blue. And a blue. In the victim's room, there were three plates upon the table with a knife and a fork on one plate. Only a knife on the second and only a fork on the third. There was also the residue of a lightish, pinkish, purplish concoction on the plate with a full set of cutlery. It seemed that the victim, shortly before death, ate from one of these plates. It also seems that two pieces of AWOL silverware are accounted for by the victim. A fork in his right eye socket, and a knife in his spine. If I do you, and you. These are connected. Wait, no. Bear with me a second. Zoop. The lady's motive was rooted in her unforgiving classism. Upon our first meeting, she informed my common self that she would enact wrath upon me if I didn't keep my distance, and indicated the same sentiment applied to our now dead travel companion. The lady's pearls found in his mild deceased hands is evidence to support this. Jibu. And Jibu. The con man's greed was his motive. The, the recently deceased had something of great value in that briefcase, and during our short drinking session, the con man implied that he wasn't above a spot of backstabbing to acquire it. Upon inspecting of the cadaver's briefcase, I found it both open and empty, suggesting the con man was successful. The knife in the back was simply poetic irony. 
What is his motivation? The barman's motivation for the grisly murder of this lawyer is incredibly clear, of course. Through the letter of the law, the victim intended to have this very train and others like it decommissioned. Right. This would have cost the barman a job he evidently adores. Any other linkage? What if I link uh, this note to you? I believe this note was sent by none other than the con man, despite he signed with some fake made up name. And take these notes, and you. I am certain that these incredibly valuable legal bonds were the original contents of the now departed, now hollow briefcase. Uh, what if I do plate and you? It is my understanding that as the only employee of this train present, the barman is responsible for catering and thus delivered those plates of food to the victim. Plates and you. I believe that the lady was present at that table when the murder occurred, and I believe that one of the missing eating utensils was hers. I also, it also stands to reason that the con man was in the room at the time of the crime, eating with our victim. Furthermore, I believe he is responsible for the other piece of cutlery absent from the place. What if I link these two? Eh, and yeah. I believe that the lightish pinkish purplish residue found upon this plate is indeed poison ice sign, though I wouldn't recommend anyone try too hard to prove me wrong. I believe it was placed there deliberately with the intention to kill. Space, 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 space. <coughs> uh, what else can I link? I can link. Uh, can I link these two things? The note depicts the victim has something I want. I regard that these invaluable legal bonds are what this is referring to. I think the note and the bartender. There's no way. And this is connected to not nah, this. Connecting clues is a lot like mixing drinks. I am drunk. Well, I think I've mixed every. I've connected everything. Can I connect you two? No. Can I connect you two? I surmise that there is evidence that indicates that the con man and the lady were together and present at the moment of the murder. And what evidence would that be, sir? Is it just this? Is that the only evidence you have? Hmm. Well, I haven't tried every single combination, but I've tried all the ones I can think of, so let's look at the fire and do the next, mar next part. And so, I can only come to the conclusion that you are all guilty of this murder, despite not conspiring collectively over the crime. Separately, you acted out of fear, greed, and a sense of disgust towards those less financially fortunate than you. How did I do? I was gonna take a drink. I was gonna take a drink. We've been so badass to go out drinking. A game by Gary King. Well, I assume that means I got it right. And... Okay. Oh, it's like, <laughs> like this. Thank you for playing. This game is a work of myself, Gary King's, using Unreal Engine 4. Any similarity to existing works is either unintentional, loving homage, or loving parody. I had no intention to offend anybody or their works with this game. If this game offends you, I suggest that you offend it right back. You shouldn't have to take that sort of thing from a game. Feel free to contact me with any criticisms or other discussions about the game. This game is a free product. I strongly encourage you to share it with anyone who would appreciate it. If you have paid for this game, get your money back. If you can't inform me, I'll bring swift justice to the contest responsible for something new. Well said. That's probably the best thanks for playing thing I have ever read. This is a great game. Um, a slight lack of closure, but as much closer as I realistically expected. So thank you, Gary King, for making such an excellent experience. And the game just ends. Just goes away. So, thank you, dear viewer, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Signature catchphrase.